Stephen from Catbrain Guru. Uh, just want to give you an update on our wind scoop that we've developed. This is the finished product. Um, this is the place where you can get them now. Uh, we have a distributor that puts them out if you are interested in getting yourself one or a couple of these. Um, it's made of a polycarbonate, so it's very, it's clear, it's light. And um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to test it with a little wind anemometer to see how well it boosts the air into the cabin. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, put, put it on and then we can do the test thereafter. Okay, so very easy to install. Um, it has a clip and a wire with a little clip. So when you want to install it, all you do is you go above the, the hatch that you want to install it on and you lower it down and then you clip this on the lifeline so you cannot lose it. It's clipped and it's, it's, it's very safe. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go inside and we're going to clip it into the, into the hatch. Come with me. Okay, so when we're inside the cabin. We have it hanging on the lifeline, so you come down, you retrieve it, you have your little crossbar that you use, and basically all you do is you're going to put it over the hatch, so it completely covers the hatch, um, and if it rains, this little seal should not allow water to come in to the into the boat. So that's it's now installed. It took us seconds. We've installed it in seconds, and to uninstall it, it's just the reverse process. Simple, easy, and safe. Okay, so now let's see how well this works. Um, I have a little anemometer here. I've got it set on meters per second because that's the best readings I can get. And I'm going to take the anemometer and put it outside of the, of the scoop and see what the readings are. So here we go. I'm going outside. That is now outside of the boat. Okay, so what we have now is we have our little anemometer outside. And it's showing 1519... Winds are very light, but I, I mean, it's still a comparison we can draw. So now I'm going to bring it inside and put it inside the booster. So that's over here. Look at that. It's actually boosting the wind in here much more than it is than the, the actual wind speed outside. Um, I'm going to just do this once more to make sure we're not kidding ourselves. It's, there's a three already. So, okay, we're going to go back outside. There it is outside, and we're at 2.3, 2.2, 2 2.9. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back inside. Back inside. What are we seeing? 2.5, 2.8, 3. Yep, we're definitely seeing a, a boost in the wind that comes in the scoop. I guess the shape of the scoop is actually boosting the wind. Um, and interestingly, it comes in at 90 degrees. It's really interesting. And it's, it's incredible how cool it keeps you in the evenings. So Okay, so we're outside now. We got in the dinghy because we want to show you what the wind scoop looks like from the outside. It has some designs that we really like. One is that when it's up, it's virtually invisible, so people don't even see the, the, the wind scoop, uh, you know, in, in place. Okay, so there she is. She's attached to the, to the over the hatch. And uh, quite honestly, from a distance, you won't even see this wind scoop. So it's really nice and subtle and discreet. Um, go a little bit forward so you can see from the front what it looks like. There's the line going up to the safety line to retrieve her. It's pretty much a very, very neat piece of gear. It's uh, for sure one of the pieces of gear that we absolutely now cannot do without. We've tested it for two months and it's basically been there for two months. And it's, it's made our, our, our trip now stay very comfortable, especially at night.